I'm live. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, Charlene. I am so frustrated right now. I'm going to put, hey, Clemmy, how are you? Hey, Mama of Six, welcome to the stream. Thank you. I just finished uh, preparing dinner. Um, I went to church this uh, morning. And I wore white. I'm a nurse at the church. So um, I came in and took off my white and threw this dress on. It's kind of warm in Detroit today. It was uh, 74 when I got out of church. Hey, Breezy. Thank you, Clemney. How are you? That's my uh, backdrop behind me that I use for uh, like makeup looks. So it's just stuck behind the sofa right now. It's warm where you are too, Charlene. Yep, I'm so mad at myself. I'm putting in the names uh, in, for the drawing and if you stop to go do something and you don't save it, they go away. So I have to start again. Let's see. Let me send her a message. Well, I guess I can't send the message. Maybe she'll just know to come on here and find me. It was warm there yesterday, too. Yep, it's really nice um, today. Almost to a mild sweat, but not quite. Hey, Flawed Perfection. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you. Let's see. I'm just going to add a couple of more moderators. Let's see. Come over here and then come here. Did it do it? Hey, TM, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Okay. Pray for the wolves. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Queen of crazies. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Maxine. How are you? Good to see you all. I'm not ignoring you guys. I'm re-entering the names because I had to leave and run to the stove. You know how you put pasta on? I just made some spaghetti right quick. And if you leave pasta on too long, it's going to get mushy. So. <laughs> You should have seen me uh, tearing through the house uh, to get that pasta off the stove and drain it. So when I came back, all my names were gone. And I, I had put in 10 already. Okay. 
So at least this time, I think it's safe. So if this happens again, I'm having a brisket ball and cornbread. Chris, that sounds good. I hope my internet acts right today. It's been giving me the business. Yeah, you had problems yesterday. TM says, what app do you use for your giveaways? It's called, I know it's a top hat. And that might be the name of it. Um, after I enter this name in, when it goes back, maybe I can see it across the top because I hate to touch it again <laughs> before I finish entering these names. I'm kind of embarrassed. This is actually my third time entering the names because I left the uh, Kindle twice to run into the kitchen. Let's see. When I went back, TM, it did not say it, but it looks like a top, a upside down top hat. Um, when I'm done with the drawing, though, then I can tell you exactly what it's called. But uh, the top hat is kind of cute. You put all the names in or you can use numbers and then you can shake it and then a name will fly out of the top hat. And I've used it before. Diamond 76, which is Pam. Welcome. How you doing? Hi, Michelle. I can't stay long. I'll be back. It crawls on my end. Oh, you buffering. Yeah, because I'm not buffering here. Don't worry. Don't be embarrassed. Hey, Angie. How are you? Thank you, Maxine, for calling for thumbs up. I appreciate it. Charlene says, uh, wait a minute, it moved. Well, whomever wins, bless you. Angie P, how are you? Welcome back. I'm good. How are you? I'm not buffering on your end, Charlene. Okay, good. Great. And you know, with a Kindle, you can only use one finger to enter everything. But I can one finger pretty quickly. And while I'm entering, um, Yesterday, there were two ladies, um, Nines Catudio. She lives in Canada. And she said if she won, uh, that hers could go back in because she lives in Canada and she didn't want me to have to pay that extra postage. And also, Tosh time. She also said that if her name was pulled to repull another name. If you get a chance, check out both of those channels. Nines Catudio. Her channel is all about cats. She loves cats. And um, she does so many cute little things with the cats. And she does like a calendar yearly. Uh, with different cats from um, the shelter or people's personal cats and they sell the calendars and then they donate the money like back to the shelter. And then Tosh Time, you know, she's all about uh, positivity, pranks. She does some cooking. Uh, she has a nice channel as well. So if you get a chance, if you don't know those, Two channels already. Check them out. Hey, Sandra, welcome. I tried to send you a message, um, a personalized message, but it just went completely away. So what I'm doing now, uh, Sandra, um, since you just got in here, I'm re-entering the names. 
um, to the drawing. I lost them twice. So you guys kind of talk amongst yourselves and get to know one another and I'll be right with you. And if I miss anybody coming in, if uh, my moderators could kind of help me to welcome people. Anjali, how are you? Welcome back. Good to see you. So glad that you could make it back today. I wanted to play some background music, but I don't have uh, anything set up for that yet. And then you just don't want to do anything because uh, you don't want to catch a copyright. I remember, uh, what was it? Uh, it might have been. Yeah, it was an app that I normally use to make like intros. So they have like a, a list where you can go and you can use their songs to add to your videos. So I used the song I had normally used. I know when it was back when I was in the hospital and I just did a real quick video to let you guys know that I was in the hospital and I used the music that was already there. They copyright, copyrighted me and they say, you can't always trust uh, the apps uh, for having, uh, you know, the right music or music that's, that is not copyrighted. And I was so shocked because I had used the music previously. And it wasn't even that long of a video. I don't know what happened. Rita Nanda, hi, welcome to the stream. DC Kool-Aid and Lisa, welcome to the stream. So good to see you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. Yep, I'm just re-entering these names. And I had advanced the video because you know the chat uh only moves as fast as the video does so that's why i have the earpiece in my ear so it doesn't play in the background but um while i'm entering so yesterday you know i opened up all the boxes um i had boxy charm and i had um ipsy so from those boxes, I did um, put one coat on my nails of um, the Deborah Lipman. There were two colors uh, in the box. The first color was Old Donna and the second color was Modern Love. This one with the glitter is the old Donna. And this one here is the old Donna. So before church, as soon as I woke up, I put on one coat, one coat. And it dried like in 15 minutes. And then I remember yesterday, I think it was Mama Six Plus, she told me that it did dry fast. 
and I agree with that. And just the one coat is very shiny. Two coats and maybe a top coat, then maybe I wouldn't have got these nicks while I was cooking, but it's not real bad. And I like the color. And it didn't clump. It went on real nice and smooth. I also used uh, the Red Lip by Becca for church. And I still have some of it on. It's not as shiny as when I first put it on. Uh, it didn't transfer to Mr. G's lips when I kissed him this morning before I went to church. So I looked, I'm like, did it transfer? And it didn't transfer because you know how guys are about getting lipstick on them. So it stayed on my lips. So that was a good thing. This uh, lipstick bio, it has a magnet in it as well. And so when you put the top on, I just noticed this today, it clicks. And again, this lip color was by Becca and the color is called Crimson Red. What else did I use? Oh, I used the uh, Coco Cabana Cream. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Is it still there? Come on now. Let me see. Let me stop talking. I'll tell you about that in a minute. Let me stop talking. Let me add another name. Because I saw that screen go dark. Because I don't want to be holding you guys up. It's Sunday. People got to eat dinner, spend time with their family. And I should have did this last night. But um, I was tired. What did we eat for dinner last night? Oh, pork chops. I fried some pork chops real quick and um, made some ramen noodles. I really wanted some rice and gravy. Um, she simply red was fixing uh, neck bones and rice and gravy. I was like, girl, that sounds so good. So I, I went in the kitchen with rice and gravy on my mind, but I didn't fix it. I just looked at the uh, ramen noodles I had got at Walmart and popped open two bags and threw them in the pot. And do you know, after I finished cooking, Mr. G was asleep. He didn't even eat last night. So I could have really got away without cooking, but then uh, my son needed to eat too. So it didn't work out. So let's see, I got a lot of A's here. Angie P. And I have Anjali Nada. Nanda. I pronounced that wrong. Joy. I'm getting close, guys. Let 
Yep, the uh, other thing I use, I'm going to go back and forth. I did use the uh, Coco Cabana Cream. And this is the one that had um, like vanilla and lychee patchouli. No, not patchouli. Coconut. And I only used it on my arms. I didn't go any further than my arms because. I didn't want to smell like, um, what is it? Kettle corn. Okay, you know how, like, if you go to the show and you smell the popcorn when you go in, but kettle corn has that more sweet uh, odor to it. So to me, I smelled like... Uh, a uh, buttered popcorn, a, a sweet buttered popcorn with a hint of vanilla. And I didn't really care for that. But this one, oh baby, the Brazilian bum bum cream, this scent right here, big difference. Same company, Sol Janeiro, Sol Janeiro. That is what's up, that bum bum cream. But um, the Coco Cabana, I don't know. I guess you could try it. They have a size smaller than this one that you could try to see if you like the scent. But um, I still smell it. You know, I smell the vanilla now. I don't smell like uh, the coconut as much and the lychee. And it was uh, one other item or scent in here. And I can't remember exactly what it was. And it doesn't say it on the jar. But I like the bum bum cream the best. Okay, I think I have all the names in here. Oh, one more. Cowboyish 43. Cowboyish B43. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yep, I think it's just 15 names. Okay. All right, so it's still TM. It doesn't say the name of the app, but this is uh, what the app looks like. It's just a top hat, and I know you've guys seen me use this app in the past. And so I'm going to shake the hat. Oh, and let me tell you what the prize is before I shake the hat. What the prize is going to be is the, this is uh, April. It's going to be the April version of the BoxyCharm. I've been billed for it. I have not received it yet. And as soon as it gets to me, 
I'll be putting one of your names on it unopened. I'm just going to tear off my information and put your information on the box. And I'm going to ship it to you so that you guys or one of you guys will have an opportunity to see what this box is like. Um, I think it's really nice. Uh, 22 bucks a month, like 23 bucks a month. And you get like 120 to 150 dollars worth of products it kind of varies from month to month and um if there's something in the box like say if it's a foundation or something and it doesn't match your skin tone let me know if that happens it's very rare though that they put a foundation it's more um like some of the things that you saw yesterday, your eyeshadow palettes, your highlighters, lip colors, nail colors, creams, mascaras and eyeliners and things like that. It's very rare to do a foundation. I have yet to see a foundation. Now in my Ipsy, I got um, a small sample size of a concealer and a small sample size as a of a B&B &B cream, which um, is like a light foundation. <clears throat> and um, I still have not used that, but I have used the concealer. In fact, the concealer is almost gone. So if that happens where you happen to get a, a, a sample of a foundation, let me know. Let me check the chat before I go on any further. Alicia Hernandez, welcome, Bob, girl. What's up? What's up? Wonderful life. Hello, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Rita Malhotra. Malhotra. Am I saying that right? Rita Malhotra. I hope I said that right and didn't chop it up too bad, baby. But welcome to the stream. Nettie Greer, hey, how are you? Good to see you. So glad to see you. Mama of Six was asking everybody what they're cooking tonight. I'm still here listening. Try to edit a video. Okay, Queen of Crazies, I hope you're still here, boo. And I think I want to do something like this, like maybe, maybe this year, maybe like every other month or something, because I got so much makeup, you know, and um, I would, you know, like to bless somebody else with some. Okay, you guys ready? Okay. Top hat. And I am going to shake it up. Okay. And the name that popped out is Anjali Nanda. Let me see if you guys can see that. I don't tell me if you guys put up a one if you can see it because with this light I can't tell if you can see it or not. Okay, I think. Okay. All right, Anjali. So what you need to do is uh contact me by email my email uh will be in the description of this video and you're gonna have um 48 hours to contact me hey mrs b and fam how are you and um once you do that then i will uh wait for the uh, Boxy Charm for April to come in, and I'll send it to you. I'm doing good, Mrs. B. How are you? 
Everybody's congratulating you, Anjali. Hello, Elizabeth. How are you? I like those uh, fireworks, Sandra. So does everybody think that's a good idea to, um, you know, do something like this, like every other month for 2019, you know, ship off my boxy charm to you guys. Also in the description box, I'm going to have, um, oh goodness, what do you call it? It's my code for BoxyCharm. Like if you want to sign up, it's not a Philly code. What is it called? I can't think right now. But um, you just joined? Okay. Yes, thank you, Mama Six. If you um if you see it there, I'm not sure if it's um and the it's not it's not a discount code. Oh, what is it called? Hey. How are you? Mujahid. I can never say it right. Mujahid 72. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Referral. That's it. Referral link. That's it. Yep, you like to dance. As a matter of fact, you know what, Mama Six, I can do it now since I don't have anything um, in my hand. I can just drop it real quick. Okay, there's the link. So you still dancing? Yahoo email is the one I email you. Yes. Easy peasy for that email. Muhahid, Muhahid, okay. <laughs> Sometimes I do that too, Mama Six, type fast and misspell. I do it all the time at work. But I think the worst thing I ever did is like, uh, I was so tired um, after treating my patients that when I start, sat down and started doing the documentation, and I felt, you know, like tired. Next thing I know, I'm like typing something about a dog. And I'm like, time to shut it down because that is not what you want to be a therapist and get called to court and you talking about a dog instead of a human. I don't work for a vet. I put it in there. Did you get it at Anjali? It's okay. Thank you, Mama of Six. So that's twice she has it. Diamond 76 says, you are such a sweetheart, Michelle, for doing a giveaway. Oh, thank you, Pam. Yep, yeah, I hadn't done one in a while. And I said, well, um, this would be good to, to do a giveaway. Because, um, I, you know, 
for the past couple of months been like laid back. Lady D Slots, hey, how you doing? Good to see you. I have to go, Michelle, and everyone have a beautiful and blessed day. I'm babysitting grandkids. Oh, I understand. I understand. Thank you so much, Pam, for dropping by. I appreciate you, sis. Anjali says, yes, I did, and thanks. Charlene says, true, you have to rest to take care of people. Yep, I... It wasn't something that I wanted, but it happened. April 13, Big Daddy Kane, Sugar Hill Gang, Grandmaster Flash, Free Concert, Columbia, South Carolina, outside City Hall. Oh, wow. So you go, you're going to open for the show, dancing? Lady D says, great, thanks. I've been really busy lately. Well, it's so good to see you. Maxine says, welcome everyone coming into the stream. Thank you, Maxine. Pam says, you are so welcome, Michelle. Thank you. Love you too. Hearts to you too, Pam. And yesterday, I cannot believe it. I still had another box that I did not open. But it's just a, a Walmart box. Walmart box is free, but you pay um, $4.99 or $5 for the shipping, but the box or the contents inside that box are free. So. I'm going to see if um, I can get Mr. G to bring me that box. I know someone. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to read this a long uh, email from another YouTuber, but I'll have to read this later. Hey, Diva Pain Warrior, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Oh, thank you. You just missed... Um, the drawing and uh, Anjali won. I just finished like maybe five to eight minutes ago. But what I decided is that um, I think that's something I want to do like every other month or so um, because I'm starting to like get a lot of makeup so I'm gonna share Walmart box you never heard of that one flaw to perfection I'm going to concert make inner dance contest if I can oh okay well I wish you luck Angie says enjoy your Sunday everyone and relax time. You too, Angie. Charlene says, I don't know if that's really free, then if you have to pay for shipping. Well, that's how it's um, billed, is that the box is free, but you have to pay for shipping. That's how they do it. Wow, Walmart box, that's nice. Yeah, it's, it's not bad. I'm going to uh, call Mr. G and have have him bring it to me. So I can open it and see what's in it. Hey, can you do me a favor? Can you look on my desk and there's a blue box like towards the back of the desk by the window and just hand that to me? Thank you.
Yep, he's doing good. Mr. G is doing good. And Diva Payne says, congratulations to Angeli. And Plot to Perfection says, no, never. Yep, the Walmart box is sent quarterly. And um, you just pay for the shipping um, and handling of the box. But it's not like, um, they, I think they call it Walmart Beauty. No, that's not it. It says Walmart on the front of it. And I said, my desk, did you get that off my dresser? Oh, your yeah. desk. Thanks, Charlene. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is the um, Walmart box. And to me, they're like so behind. This might be my winter box. I don't think I got my spring box yet, but there's the Walmart um, label or insignia. So I'm just going to open it up. I think I should have told him to bring me a knife, too. I don't have any nails anymore since I cut them all off, but I'll get into it. Hey, Mrs. B, how are you? Yep, he's doing good. Um... He just came in. He was trying to um, repair his brakes, but um, he wasn't able to finish up. It's raining here now. When I first got out of church, it was um, nice. And yesterday it was real sunny, but not today. Okay, so I got it open. So what's in here? Okay. Enter to win a $100 gift card. Tell us what you think about your Walmart beauty box in a brief survey by visiting beautyboxsurvey.com. And this month's box is called Hydration Heroes. Rate and review this season's products at Walmart. And so this is just the little uh, information sheet that comes inside the Walmart beauty box. I've never received any makeup. Most of the time it's like um, a lot of coupons uh, and samples and then some sample size or sometimes a uh, full size. So that's a lot of coupons there. So right on top, this is some Curel Hydrotherapy Wet Skin Moisturizer, Water Activated. So I'm thinking that this is something that you would use um, immediately after your shower, perhaps while you're still standing in the shower, because it activates with the water to seal in the moisture into your skin. Okay, so more than likely, I did get a coupon to get more of this. This is two ounces. So that's not a bad uh, sample size of that. I have um, Garnier Skin Active. This is a three-in-one moisturizer, day-night mask. Made with rose water. There's no mineral oil, parabens, silicones, or dyes. Find me in the skincare aisle. So they gave me a sample of it. And I also got an information sheet about it. And usually there's a coupon with the samples that they send you. This time, I don't see a coupon for that. 
at all, just the sample. Uh-oh. Oh, my dad by mistake. Okay, the next thing I got is a hair mask by Garnier Fruit Cheese. Damage Repairing Treatment, One Minute Hair Mask, and it's a sample of that. And then I also got an informational sheet to go with this, about this product. So that's a hair mask. Next, I got uh, Olay Daily Facials. It's a daily hydrating, clean, Five-in-one cleansing power of a makeup remover, scrub, toner, mask, and cleanser. So it's just a sheet in here and you add water to it. So you have to activate it by adding water. I'll probably use this when I wash my face tonight and see how this works. I like Olay products and I did not get any coupon for that. I'm really surprised. Next, I got Unicorn Glow uh, Hologram Mask. It has black charcoal, niacin, and it was made in New York. It's a full face sheet mask. So that's the mask that I got. No coupon for that either. Uh, the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. Brightens and smooths hypoallergenic. A small sample size of that I received in the Walmart box. And then I got informational sheet about that. Then this is different. I actually got a um, cosmetics bag or toiletry bag and it has the Walmart sign there on it. It looks like little raindrops on the back, moisture drops, so nice little tassel. And that's the inside, but I guess um, this could be something that you put all the things in that you wash your face with or moisturize on a daily basis in the morning and put it on your countertop or in your cabinet and everything and be in one place for your skincare. So I've never received a cosmetics bag from them and I'm kind of shocked that Walmart could send one, but Ipsy couldn't. So that's the Walmart beauty box. We got a troll, excuse me for one second. Hello? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I died it, died it by mistake. I had put the um, phone down because I'm live right now, I'm online. Okay, so I'll, I'll Huh? Okay. All right. I'll call you back, though. Okay, Daddy. Bye-bye. Okay, I knew he would call back when I set the phone down. I made a mistake and called him. So let's see what's going on in the chat besides the troll. I saw a couple of things pop up, but I knew you guys would handle it. Mrs. B says, I love the Garnier products. Blog says, 8-bit, please stop being rude. Mrs. B says, hello at the Diva Pain Warrior. Blog says, no, a child. Sandra says, cute bag, love the color. Charlene says, you have your mod quad for that. I know that's right. Maxine says, I'm back. I'm listening and cooking. Okay, what you cooking, Maxine?
I haven't had a, a troll in forever, but the more often you go on live, you start to get them. Now, in the beginning, when I first started, I had heard about trolls, right? And I must have forgot that I heard about trolls. But anyway, one night I gave a live and it was a pretty big live. And I had trolls coming in. Oh, my God. They were so sexually preoccupied. You would not believe it. You would not believe it. And um, I just ignore them and keep going. And that's why you get people that blue wrench so they can handle it for you. Maxine. Let me see. First, Charlene. Let me see. No deeper pain. She was like. Hey, Maxine, Charlene says, y'all, I had one 30 minutes before you went live. Really? Maxine says she's fixing chicken breast, corn on the cob and salad, something quick. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds like a, a, a summer meal for warm weather. Maxine also says, I remember that live. It was crazy. You remember that? It was oh we too much. I mean, would not stop. I don't know if it was like a family of them because you get rid of one and another one to come, or either they come two or three deep. Charlene says, Maxine, I need to eat with you. So, Flaw, uh, what did you think of the Walmart box? Like sometimes I get, uh, I love getting deodorant in them because they give out some pretty nice deodorants. And um, Mama Six says they have troll mobs. Okay, I believe it because that's what happened that night. It was ridiculous. I've never seen such mess in my life. And I, I just, I, <laughs> And I couldn't stop looking because I had never seen anything like that. Mrs. B says, okay, I will see you soon. Okay, hon, thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. When you guys get a chance, check out Miss B's channel. She does uh, a lot of uh, do-it-yourself types of projects, always fixing up something really pretty. She's very positive and faithful, and I just love her channel. It's just smooth and easy peasy. So if you want a relaxing place to be, Mrs. B is where you should go. And then her sister does makeup. Um, oh, goodness. Uh, live and Laugh with Linda, I believe. If I didn't chop that up, I believe that's her channel. So you got the dynamic duo of sisters with both of them have good channels. Mama Six says, I've gotten deodorant, toothpaste, mascara, lip gloss, hair ties, tanning lotions, etc. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it's just okay. Wow, because I, I think I've gotten toothpaste, but I don't think I've ever gotten anything. Thing in the makeup arena. So mascara and lip gloss. Hmm. But that kind of stuff comes in handy. I mean, especially, you know, if you raise a family and uh, just to throw in your bathroom, because I have like um, two bathrooms and trying to keep both bathrooms stocked with like everyday essentials. You know, things like this come in handy, you know, if you have um, guests that come over, like these samples. Um, I used to like to try to uh, put these samples like in a basket and um, especially like hand creams and things for your face. And then people could pick out what they want to pick out instead, instead of letting them sit up and dry out. That's a good thing to do. And then one time, I think I put a whole bunch of them um, uh, 
in a uh, bag to go to the free store. We have a church who has a free store. So those that are disadvantaged can come and shop and they don't have to pay for anything. So anything they want, they can just go and pick it up and uh, get a bag and take it home with them. It's the free store. And I love that idea. So whenever I get a chance, when I have things, I take it to the free store, you know, so those people can get the things they need. Charlene says, Mama Six is right. It happened to me many times. I wanted to give up YouTube, but my soul wouldn't let me give up. I remember when you did, Charlene. I told you don't let them do you like that. Hey, D, how are you? Hello, everyone. Is what G D is saying. Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you for coming in. Bits of my life. Hello to you. Welcome to the stream. Yep, uh, that free store is really nice and they don't ask any questions um, about anything. If you need it, you just go in and you shop and they have like a big room with different sections or departments. And they even take things that are already open, like say if you buy a shampoo, but you don't really like the scent of it, or you buy cologne, you don't really like the scent. They take uh, lotion, if you use just a few pumps or whatever. Um, and I mean, they take it. I don't know if I necessarily agree with um giving people things that are already open because people so crazy out here. And I would hate for somebody to add something to a product, but um, people, you know, are in need. So they're willing to, you know, take a chance on getting the products, uh, old pots and pans, uh, Dishes, silverware, clothing. Um, I think they will take even like small furniture. Jima D says, thank you. Flaw to Perfection says, hello uh, to those coming in. Thank you, Flaw. I appreciate you. Mama Six says, hello. Charlene says, I agree. You never know these days. No, you don't. And, uh, Working in healthcare, you know, you see a lot of things. Like, I don't know if you guys saw this post. It was on Facebook. And it showed somebody opening a banana. But right in the middle of the banana, it was red inside of there. Where people uh, had took syringes and um, uh, had blood drawn from a person infected with AIDS, HIV, and put it inside the banana. So they were warning people, you know, check your fruit. And if you see anything red on it, you know, don't eat it. Sadie, how are you? Hello, my beautiful friend. How are you? Welcome to the stream. I appreciate you. As long as they uh, let them know it's pre-used, they can take it at their own risk. Yeah, and that's, you know, what they've been doing, you know, the people that um, come to the free store. Bits of my life. Thumbs up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Flawed says, yep, I always check my banana. Sadie says, thank you. No problem. I appreciate you. Charlene says, oh, geez, I just bought bananas. Yeah, you can easily tell, um, Charlene, as soon as you open it, because it's like right in the center. It's like a star of red, you know, because they took uh, a syringe and uh, pushed blood. And I don't know how they thought people would notice that it was blood inside or red inside of their banana. That's crazy. The only thing that they probably can uh, get away with it is um, 
those blood oranges that are already red. Um, but you just have to look at your fruit real good. And most of the times, if you see like a preparation in your fruit, um, I would just get rid of it immediately. D says, just don't bite it. That's right. It's mainly the loose bananas. Wow. Charlene says, I have to eat them because of my legs to help with the pain. Oh, the uh, potassium, right. Sadie says, such a shame. People are so messy. Oh, my God. Yes, they are, Sadie. Blog Perfection says, even if the skin looks like it had uh, dried blood on it, I still won't eat it. Mm -mm. No, it's not uh, uh, worth it. Sandra says, wash and check. That's right. And then they have these solutions that you can use to um, wash your fruit. I mean, the world is just so different than it was when I was coming up um, as a child. My mother would just bring the fruit home and uh, put it in a bowl and she would wash the grapes, but like our apples and oranges, we would just rinse off or something before we got ready to eat it. But she would, you know, clean grapes and strawberries, blueberries and things like that. Sadie says, yes. Yeah. Charlene says, it's not worth my life being gone. No, it's not. It's not. I'm, I don't know what drives people to do that. I guess like, you know, hatred. And uh, I guess they're angry because they're sick and they want to drag other people down with them. I don't know. Um, sometimes we get some disillusioned people in my department at the hospital. They get mad and, you know, toss their whole tray on the floor. And one of my girlfriends, that happened too, and she, um, she looked at the patient, she looked at the tray, and she was like, nah. Who you think gonna pick that up? She was like, huh? And she was like, not me. And she walked out the room. And I've had I've had patients to say, um, um, it's your job to do such and such and such. This is not a hotel. This is a rehab unit. So we're gonna have you work. There's no sense in you being angry. Come on and work with me and get better. That's what I'm about. Don't be angry about it. You just got to pray on it and work hard to get better. Charlene, oh, that's oh, my ex-husband tried to kill me, but I was sent back for a reason. It wasn't my time. Oh, Charlene, I never knew that. Thank you, Breezy. I appreciate it. Wow, Charlene, sorry to hear that, but glad you're here with us. I know that's right. Yep, I never knew that, Charlene. Mom Six says at uh, Sweet Sadie J. Hey, love. Vlog says hello to Breezy. So, um, Charlene is. Uh, is his name Rollo? Rollo? Is that your boyfriend or just a neighbor? Because I know you spend a lot of time with him. I knew that wasn't your husband, but I didn't know if that was like your neighbor or your boyfriend. Rollo, Rollo. Rocco. He is my friend. Okay. All right. Then. Yep. I was just trying to make sure. I'm like, well, I know it can't be the one she talks about all the time. Yep. Uh, 
And that's where I meant to call a girlfriend of mine. Uh, there was a sad story, you know, during testimony time in church, and one of the ladies stood up and was saying that um, her niece, she wanted everybody to uh, pray for her niece, that her niece was uh, on a Sunday about three weeks ago, no, on a Saturday about three weeks ago that her niece was in the bed and her niece uh, had, uh, woke up, but she fell back asleep. And then she woke up again. And when she woke up, she was in the bed with her husband. But when uh, she woke up, the bed was full of blood. So she immediately uh, called 911. Sandra says, why people do things and lie and try to get out of it on YouTube channels. Girl, I don't know, Sandra. We've been talking about that. Uh, Charlene says he has a YouTube channel. Mama Six says, hey, Breezy. Breezy says, hi. Yep, so she, when she woke up, the bed was full of blood. Come to find out. When she called 911 and the police came, her husband was dead. He had shot himself in the head. But I guess before he shot himself in the head, he had shot her in the head. But God, being who he is, God woke her up enough to call the police and they got her to the hospital. And uh, she is stable, but she has some swelling on her brain. It all just makes me stay close to Jesus more and more. I know that's right. Charlene says, oh, dang, she was saved for a reason. I know she's going to have a big testimony once she is um, better. And that just came to me when you said that your husband had tried to kill you. I don't know if you want to share any details about that, but um, the lady said um, her niece's name, which I'm not going to uh, repeat the name here in this venue on this platform. The only thing I can think of is that I have a very close friend who has a niece with the same name. And um, I know the niece had been going through some things with that husband um, that has come close to it being a situation like that. And I'm like, no, it can't be her because if it was her, she would have called and told me uh, by now. So before I go to sleep tonight, I have to make a phone call and just check and make sure it's just um, hard to believe that it's two young ladies with the same name around the same age and that happened. But Detroit is big, you know, um, I, I pray that it's not her. Um, and I also pray that the one who has the same name as her is healed. Um, Charlene says, oh, dang, she was saved for a reason. Mom six says, wow. Maxine says, Jesus, Jesus. Sadie says, Father God, please take the will. Diva Payne says, I said sugar cookies. Sadie says, Michelle, are you on your phone or PC? I'm actually using my laptop right now. Um, Diva says, I gave mine away. Charlene says, he had hit my thyroid meds for a month, and that started me having seizures, and I had six in one day. 
died three times that day. He laughed in the ER when I flatlined. Oh my God. Sadie says, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, Sadie, I'm using my PC because I had set up the live using that uh, new thing, the control room. And then uh, once I got done, uh, then it led me here where I could do like a thumbnail right quick. And uh, then it pulled up the dashboard so I can see the chat. So uh, the chat is big enough for me to see because sometimes the chat will move kind of fast. And when it moves fast, sometimes I have my phone for a backup where I can go and have it close to me where I can see. Flaw says, oh, Charlene, Mama Six says, oh, that's the devil. Charlene said he got his car when he tried to burn my face at the end. Oh, my goodness. That's horrible. So you didn't notice that your medicines were missing where you could get some more from the doctor or was he responsible for passing your meds and just hid it out of your pile of medicines or container of medicines that you were supposed to be taking? Mama Six says, oh, that's the devil. Yes. Some some of these men, you know, a lot of them saw their fathers do it. Or I'm going to say fathers or uncles do it, somebody close to do it, so they think it's okay. And some of them start, like, beating on women early, I mean, as teenagers. So you know that if a teenager who is still a child is doing that to young ladies, that they send that mess at home. I knew he took them to his job. Flaw uh, Perfection is asking a question, Charlene. She is saying, what was his karma? She says, just evil. Sadie says, Michelle, how is your back doing? My back is a lot better. In fact, I just get like muscle fatigue um, in my back just because of my job and you know, working with the patients and what have you, you know, doing their therapy. So now it's just my leg, uh, the residual effects, uh, because the problem is not gone. It's only masked. It can happen again tomorrow. But at least now I have a good doctor where I can go and get an injection I'm not um, eligible for another injection until I believe June on my insurance, but I'm going to try to save it um, closer to the end of September because I have to go out of town for my nephew's wedding. And I do not want to get to North Carolina and this pain come back. So uh, right now it's holding steady. So um I just have nerve pain now in my leg. So my leg from my hip to my knee is numb. Uh, on the, only on the top, not the entire uh, thigh is on top. And uh, I have the prickly sensation or like the electrocution sensation. Like I could be sitting and all of a sudden it just hit me. Sometimes it happens like really close to my groin area, which is very scary. But to combat that, I have to take, uh, what is it, gabapentin and robaxin three times a day, plus my pain meds. So at first, it was hard for me to, like, stay woke. 
uh, for long periods of time. But since I've been taking the medicine for a while, I can kind of combat it. But let it get quiet. I'm gone. <laughs> but my back right now is good. And then I'm staying stretched out. Uh, I finished my therapy about two and a half weeks ago. And now I'm in what they call open gym. And in open gym, you don't have to pay. Your doctor just has to sign off on a release. And I can just go and do the same exercise routine I was doing while I was doing the therapy. So that kind of keeps me stretched out. Let me go back to the chat and see what I missed. Um, Mama Six says, I have to go. Have a blessed day, everyone. Um, I pray peace and blessings over you all. Thank you so much. Eva Payne Warrior says, that's so sweet. Charlene says, he got um, burnt and is going blind in one eye. Oh, wow. Law to Perfection says, Mama Six, have a good evening. Uh, Mama Six says, I applaud, love you, boo. Diva Pain Warrior says, thank you, Mama Six. Flawed says, Mama Six, she gives her hearts, love you too. Sadie says, everyone have a blessed evening. Bye at Mama of Six. Um, hey, dear Lynn, how are you? Welcome to the stream. It's still a silent killer. Domestic violence is not the victim's fault. Nope, it's not. Thank you so much, Daryl, for coming in. D says, if I did everything that was done to me, I wouldn't have a beautiful family and a loving husband and grandbabies that adore me. People don't have to answer to the devil. I know that's right. You have a beautiful family, D. I, I love, like, how you guys spend so much time together and have parties, have dinners, go shopping, you decorate, you know, your home so that it's welcoming to your family and you guys just have a good time. And I love watching your blogs and seeing how you prepare and get things set up in your home to take care of your family. Beautiful channel. Sadie says, hey, I'm in North Carolina. Okay. Um, uh, what part, Sadie? I have your address written down from when you sent me that oil, but I can't remember what part. Charlene says, yes, you have to stay in good health to do things. Charlene says, Gma, D Gma True, Flaw to Perfection says, uh, 14 thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you so much, Flaw. G. Uh, Madi says, yes, keep yourself moving. Yep, I have to. Diva Pain Warrior says, yes, my love watching G. Madi too. Yep, I love her channel. She just, you know, so down to earth and so loving and just a sweet lady. I think the first video I saw uh, when I first subscribed, she wasn't feeling so good, would have headaches and stuff. And then she explained about her surgery and it's just amazing to see how far you've come from that you know you still have your ups and downs but you just keep on pressing and I like that about you uh D uh Walter Perfection says you're welcome at G G D Housewife says the D pain warrior and she's giving hearts to her Yep, uh, I don't know, like Daryl has said, domestic violence is something else. Um, some people just have it in them uh, that they want to do evil, mean things like that, and it's no getting them out, getting it out of them, and they will pick with you purposely, uh, you know, to see what you would do. Um, and I've experienced that. And uh, I was like, no, this can't go on. This this relationship can't, you know, keep going like this. And it got to the point where 
I retaliated. And then um, when the police came, they were like, um, we really should take you to jail. And I'm like, for what? And they was like, well, you used the, um, oh, God, what what is it called? A lethal weapon. It was, um, you know, choke chain for Rottweilers and big German shepherds. And it had keys on the end of it. I told, I ain't going to say what I want to say, but I tore them up with them keys. Don't play with me. And then I'm like, okay, this is it on this because as a therapist, I can't work if I got a felony. You got to go. You got to go. And I was in my early 40s when that happened. But, um, you know, you have to protect yourself, you know. Sometimes and I wasn't, I don't do that to people. I don't want you to do it to me. And Mr. G is polar opposite. And when I met him, I let him know in the beginning, I don't argue and fight. I'm over 50 because we were in our 50s when we met. We're in our 60s now. And, um. I'm like, if we have to go through that, then we don't need to be together. This is our eighth year. Everything is easy peasy, perfect. We have an understanding about that. Charlene says, I have to go do my heat therapy, so I will see you all soon. Have a blessed week. Okay, Charlene, thanks for staying, babe. Law to Perfection says, be right back. Jim and D says, they really do. And that said, Jim and D says, I know the Lord has blessed me. Um, Jim and D says, gone now. <laughs> Charlene says, he shouldn't have hurt you. That's right. Jim and D says, thumbs up. Charlene says, a real man doesn't hurt a real woman. That's right. Jim and D says, praise God for Mr. G. That's right. I, and, and you know when I met, I stayed because uh, I'm a widow, and I stayed single after that, like about 15 months. And I said, "Lord, okay, I'm ready now for you to send me somebody. I'm not gonna go looking. You send them." And that's the story. <laughs> Sandra says, that is so wonderful, your life. Thank you, Sandra. Hey, Ursula, how you doing? Hey, loves, welcome to the stream. It's so good to see you. Charlene says, God sent you the G-Man. That's right. Fab Five Craft says, what did I miss? Well, what you missed was me kind of like going over a few of the items that I wore today or tried today from my uh, Boxy Charm and Ipsy that I opened yesterday. And I wanted to do a, uh, a giveaway, but my Kindle was not charged yesterday and I didn't know it. And the app to do the drawing is on my Kindle. So I had everybody come back today. So we did the drawing and um, a young lady by the name of Anjali won and she's going to email me. She has 48 hours to email me uh, her mailing information and uh, the gift or prize is April's uh, Boxy Charm. I've been billed for it and I'm waiting for it to arrive. When it arrives, then I'm going to uh, ship it out to her. Gma D says, hey, Fab Five. Fab Five says, hey, Gma. Gma D says, congratulations. Jeff, I'm not sure if um, Anjali is still here. I haven't seen her comment lately, but um, she did say that. Um, 
that's good winnings. Yeah, you know, I wanted some other people to experience um, the boxy charm. I mean, boxy charm. They really uh, showed out yesterday in that uh, boxy lux because I had the smaller one, which is your uh, five full size products um, every month. And then the boxy lux is quarterly and it has 10 to 11 full size products in it. And it was really, really nice. And uh, so she'll be getting the April boxy charm. Charlene says, okay, I need to go now. I will see you later. Remember, we together make each other stronger. That's right, Charlene. You take care and tell Rocco that everyone said hello from the Age Graceful channel and to be safe and stay blessed. Yep, so I had, I hope I'm not coming down with the cold that the other people had last week. I don't know, my nose feels a little bit stuffy, but um, they were sick last week, a bunch of them around me. I'm like, stay away from me. They felt so bad, but they still dragged in to work, but they a lot younger than I am. I don't know, it might put me down if I catch what they had. Charlene says, yes, please think about him. He is in a VA homeless shelter. Now, are you talking about Rocco or your husband? Fabi says, I have surgery on the 29th, so say a prayer for me and the kids. Okay, I sure will. I'm going to actually add you to the prayer list at church. I got an awesome pastor. He'll pray for anybody. Yes, Rocco. I didn't know that he was homeless. I thought he had a house. Well, whose house do I decorate for Christmas with the lights? I thought it was his house. Gima D says, praying for you, Ursula. Yes, we are. And Ursula says, thank you. Yeah, but I don't know why I thought that was Rocco's house with the lights for Christmas. Or did he just go with you? He was taking care of his dad, but he had passed. So that was his dad's house? Nurse says, thanks, Gina D. And we really had a well-rounded conversation, started with a giveaway and then ended up with uh, domestic violence. I don't know, Charlene might have gone and left. <clears throat> You're welcome. Keep us up on how you're doing. Yep. You did a Christmas video together. Okay, I see. Yeah, I remember um, uh, there were some lights. I remember that much, and I know Rocco was in that video. And I just assumed that it was um, his house. Five five craft says you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It's just um well you just came in. This was one of the products that I got in the boxy charm. I didn't wear makeup. I'm a nurse at church, so I wear all white. So um the only thing I put on was lipstick because I don't like getting foundation on my white. So um, I just got on moisturizer, 
the mascara and the lipstick. Charlene says my ex lives in Texas. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, this was such a pretty color. I couldn't wait to try it out. It's almost gone. Now I can see. Uh, it's by Becca. And I want to say it's like $24 a tube. And the color is crimson. And everybody can wear this red. It's like, um, it's not a fire engine red. It's like a, it's got like a little orange undertone to it, to this red. Everybody can do this one. I like it a lot. But anyway, ladies, I really appreciate you guys for coming in. I wish I could have got this. Um, it's pretty like a bright coral. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, this little bit of red here would kind of go with the red lipstick. And I lost my curls. I, I had curls yesterday because I got my hair done um, Thurs, Thursday. Yeah. And she had curled it all over, but my hair is like super soft. And she asked me, did I want it pressed all the way through? And I'm like, yeah, I want it pressed all the way through. Um, because when I sweat, that'll just, you know, make it puffy. But sometimes just to make your hair look fuller because it's fine and kind of wispy. But I'm like, I can't believe that my curls lasted up until yesterday, and then this morning, they were gone. Maybe because it was gonna rain. My hair knew it was like moisture in the air. I don't know. <laughs> Charlene says, now some of you are going to have that song. All my exes live in Texas stuck in your head. Oh my God, Charlene, you are too funny. Soul Food Queen says, love red. Maxine says, it's gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Just a pop of color and keep it, keep it moving. And I was praying I didn't get this on my dress and then go to take communion. I guess I had just a little bit of the grape juice on my fingers after taking communion and touched my dress. So usually if I put Dawn on something that takes it out, so I'm going to put some Dawn on it and put it in the washer. Other than that, I probably could have got away with wearing my dress one more time. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the washer. And it'll be ready. Um, I don't know if I'm going to nurse next Sunday. I nursed the last two Sundays that I did go. I missed last Sunday. I think I nursed the Sunday before that. I did. But everybody has to be in their white on first Sunday uh, for communion. So that's what I did. And I cooked dinner already. So every, I heard everybody behind me fixing their plates. And I just made spaghetti. I'm like, you can have a grilled cheese with it. But I'm going to have something delectable with my spaghetti. I don't know if you ever heard of Fagua. It is goose liver, and it's not like calf's liver or anything like that. Um, it's very mild and buttery, and um, you don't fry it in oil. You get like a real hot pan, and you score it and just season it lightly with salt and pepper, and you sear it. It takes like... 30 seconds on each side because your pan is nice and hot. And then you have a piece of toasted bread and put a thin layer of uh, like a berry type uh, jam or jelly. And I got strawberry. And then you put your bagua on top and then cut it and eat it. It's so good. It melts in your mouth. And I haven't had any in a long time because I try to stretch it. It's um, like $38 a pound. 
and it comes in like a one to two pound, sometimes three pound lobes uh, of the liver. And um, Mr. G had got me a lobe um, of it maybe like six months ago. So what I do is I cut it in serving sections um, and then I wrap them individually and then I put them in a Ziploc and then I can just take out a couple of pieces because once it, it kind of shrinks because it's so uh, uh, rich and fatty, it starts out about that big, but when I get done, it's probably going to shrink to about that big. And uh, you can save the oil from it if you don't burn the oil and put it in like dressing. I'll put it in a container and then put it in the refrigerator and add it uh, to my broth when I do my dressing because it's part of, you know, poultry family, the goose is. And it's kind of like how you use uh, duck uh, drippings if you make duck dressing. So. I save it and I add to my broth for my dress and it just makes it more flavorful. But that's what I'm going to have tonight and cross my legs and watch some of you guys videos until I get sleepy. That's my plans for the night. Oh, but wait a minute. What time is it? It's seven o'clock. Does anybody know, does the reunion for Housewives of Atlanta, does that start tonight? Because if it does, my plans might have to change a little bit um, because I don't want to miss it. I mean, I could watch it like on demand. You think so, Ursula? Okay. And I'm kind of upset with myself because I wanted to do uh, a Spreaker uh, video and put that up about Nene, but maybe I can just add to it, depending on if it starts tonight, how she conducts herself, because I think she has been truly horrible. Um, I was going to do Spreaker, but I do have some pictures, so excuse me, uh, depending on how she acts tonight, I might do a video with the pictures and then I have to edit that. And that's the only reason I hadn't done it yet. But I, I, I used to like Nene. I'm not liking her very much right now. Everything is about her. It's been sad how, she, you know, how she performed at uh, Eva's wedding and everybody, um, uh, ran to check on her because she left out crying instead of going, hey, Judy, how you doing? Good to see you. Um, she was crying because Greg's, you know, he's sick. He has cancer. And she's going through a lot taking care of him. And you know how he is because you already divorced him and then remarried him. So you know how he is when you remarried him. But now you can't. Uh, yeah, she stole the show every time. Exactly. And I didn't like how everybody ran after her to check on her instead of going to congratulate Eva. And then uh, Cynthia's event where Kenya came. She's Kenya's her friend, Nene's her friend. I mean, the room is big. Kenya can be way over here in this corner, Nene can be in this corner. I'm your sister. You did not tell me that she was coming. And then you let her speak on your microphone and say some words. I didn't speak. Girl, bye. She she just feels a sense of entitlement I have never seen her be like before. She was not originally like that. If if money made her change how she perceives herself and how she treats others, I don't think it's a good thing. 
Judy Turner says she's doing good and thank you. Yep, it's so good to see you. You know, uh, I made your chicken, Judy. And I sent my dad some. He was so happy. And he was like, how did you do this chicken? Ursula says money definitely changed her. I believe it did. And you can see by the pictures I had, even her her features, like the surgeries she's had, uh, her uh, uh, wigs, you know, what she'll spend for her hair and stuff now, her clothes. And she just has an air about her. That's what I don't like, the air. If I had that money, I would just still be me. I mean, I can't change from being me. She was the down-to-earth one. She was. Judy says, I'm glad you made it. Yep, it came out so good. And I um, sent my dad some. And he wanted to know how I did it. And uh, so I sent him the uh, YouTube video to his phone. I was like, here, watch this video. And you can see how I made it. But it was funny because he had some questions that I did not even think about when I... Um, did the video. He was like, okay, you use a roaster. He was like, did you put the cover on the roaster or did you just put it in the oven like it was? I was like, hmm, good question, daddy. I did use the cover to the uh, roaster. Then he said, now you said your skillet for the potatoes didn't come with a top. Um, and you said you used foil, but I didn't see you use the foil. So if you use the foil, then you steamed them. I see you didn't use that much oil. It was hilarious. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, you know, these are some questions that, you know, potentially some subscribers uh, might have had the same questions in the back of their head. So I'm going to have to think outside the box next time. It was so funny because I used my roaster pan that I use for baking turkeys or roasting turkeys because um, I had a lot of wings for my family. It was so funny, but they were very good. I will be doing it again. Uh, those um, red onions just gave it a different flavor than uh, yellow or white onions or Vidalia onions. Because some onions, the Vidalias are sweet. And then the Spanish onions, they're, uh, you know... They smell a lot. They don't have a lot of flavor, but they have big smell that you can't wash off your hands very easily. But the red onions were very good. They didn't burn or anything. Um, like at the bottom of the pan, my son, when he cleaned it out, he just had a the plate of onions. Uh, and I'm like, well, what you gonna do with these onions? And he was like, well, I was gonna give them to the dogs. I'm like, they can't eat those onions. So I put them in the trash. Is some dogs across the way, and instead of me throwing away leftovers, because um, the guy is homeless, and so um, a friend is allowing him to stay in that house, and so he has two pretty nice-sized dogs that he has to feed, so um, if I ever have any leftovers, then I always make sure I package them up. And then we just set it on the other side of the fence so the dogs can get it. But I'm like, no, we're not going to feed the dogs any onions. I'm like, mm -mm, Because he is not going to want to clean up that food from those uh, red onions. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good idea. It might turn their stomachs to uh, just have, you know, a pile of onions like that. Even though they were cooked, I still didn't want to chance it and make the dog sick so we didn't do that but yeah that chicken was the bomb it went real well with sandra's potatoes yep really nice so listen guys um i'm gonna go ahead and call this live a close and again i thank you all for coming out and spending some time with me we're gonna do this a lot more often like I said, I think the idea, since I'm starting to accumulate so much makeup, is to, um, like every other month or so, um, give a box 
away from boxy charm and i and i didn't think about that before i put my ipsy on pause and it's supposed to um come off of pause after two months so i want to say at the end of may uh it'll come off pause and then i'll start back getting ipsy in june so um the ipsy is just sample size except for um uh, now i've upgraded to the glam bag plus and i thought that that was quarterly but it seems like they were sending a big box every month so i have to check into that um prior to it automatically uh renewing itself just so i'll know what i'm getting you have a good evening too, Ursula, and thanks again for stopping by. And um, I'm going to be thinking about you and praying for you. And like I said, I'm going to add your name to the prayer list at church and talk to my pastor about it. Because like I say, he prays uh, for people all the time, all the time. He's a very good pastor. It, he's somebody you would want to pray for you. I'll put it like that because you don't always want just anybody to pray for you. But this man, you would want to pray for you. And we know uh, that uh, prayers get answered every day. All right, everyone, you guys have a good evening and a blessed week. And I will see you soon. Okay. Thank you again for coming to the uh giveaway results all right everyone take care bye now